హలో గైస్ హోప్ యూ ఆల్ ఆర్ డూయింగ్ గుడ్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ వెరీ వెరీ ఆర్ లొకేటెడ్ ఐ హోప్ ఎవరిథింగ్ ఈజ్ గోయింగ్ ఫైన్ టుడే ఐఆమ్ హియర్ టు టెల్ యూ అన్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ ఫీచర్ ఇన్ అజూర్ డెవాప్స్ ఐ రిమెంబర్ ఆర్ ఐ హోప్ ఆర్ ఐ బిలీవ్ నో వన్ మైట్ హ్యావ్ టోల్డ్ యూ అబౌట్ దిస్ దిస్ ఈజ్ అన్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ ఫీచర్ ఇన్ అజూర్ డెవాప్స్ అండ్ బై యూజింగ్ దిస్ ఫీచర్ ఆర్ బై యూజింగ్ దిస్ సర్వీస్ యూ కెన్ కనెక్ట్ టూ డిఫరెంట్ సర్వీసెస్ ఓకే వన్ ఈజ్ అజూర్ డెవాప్స్ అదర్ వన్ కెన్ బి ఎనీథింగ్ okay when i say connect two different services you might think of service connections okay i am in my azure devops organization i am going into this project okay and i am going to project settings when i said i can connect other service you might be thinking about service connections yes service connections is one of the area where you can connect your azure devops with third party services that service can be anything if i click on new service connection you will see all the available list of services it can be jenkins kubernetes new gates on our cloud github anything but what happens with service connection so service connection will mostly used in pipelines even if you see the category itself is under pipelines so service connections are used to deploy or to connect or to interact with other services through the pipeline okay but today i am going to discuss about another service called service hooks okay service hooks what is this service hooks okay by using this service hooks what you can do is from azure devops you can do some action in the other service in the same way from the other service that service can be anything i will show you what are all the services available here but from that tool also for suppose i am in azure devops and i want to do something in github or else i am doing something in github i want the rep i mean opposite action in azure devops as well so this is possible by using service hooks today i will take some example today i will take some example and i will show you how the service hooks works if you see in my current project i already have two different service hooks created one is jenkins another one is workplace messaging okay here jenkins okay what jenkins will do jenkins will help you or uh, it will trigger a build see trigger generic build when code is pushed okay when code is pushed which means in jenkins if someone pushes or something a build will be triggered in jenkins okay the code push happens in azure devops but the build will be triggered in jenkins the workplace messaging this is something today we are going to see for suppose if you click on this i want to have another thing if you click on this i want to go with microsoft services but we have many different services like grafana haki app jenkins bamboo campfire then user voice okay these are all things we have today i am going to use microsoft teams okay i am going to connect or i am going to interact from azure devops to microsoft teams and the same way from microsoft team to azure devops as well okay i selected microsoft teams and i am clicking on next what it says subscriptions for the services are managed by consumer service to create a new subscription visit microsoft teams okay they are saying us to go to microsoft teams so to make it more clear i already connected to microsoft teams here itself i have a team teams account and i have teams called mrk stats inside that i have a channel called general okay now i am going back to this okay close cancel okay let's go to this project home page okay here the project home page first i want to know whether this project okay whether this project is already connected with teams or not for that what i i need to do is i need to verify okay i need to verify just see azure boards see azure boards how i am getting this here for this first you need to do okay for this first you need to do add this service or add this app to your microsoft teams how can you add this so here i have apps right see these all are apps guys i am searching for azure boards see i got azure boards see here i got azure boards see i got azure boards this is already added okay this is already added that's why i am getting open option but if you wanted to add see this add to a team here i have only one team here i have only one team if your organization or in your teams account if you have multiple teams you can select that from the drop down i already added even if i select and set up bot also see i it came here it 
came here and directly asking me to write something to write something now i am writing azure wait a second okay I, I just go back and come back to this post once again. Now I am starting a new conversation. How I will start? I will start typing Azure Boards. See Azure Boards. Now link. Link. See, these are the commands they are automatically populating. How they are populating? Because I added the app. Now I need to connect a link. I mean, now I need to link a project. If you don't know about these commands or how I am typing these commands, I am giving you this link, guys this page link will be given in the description of this video you can find this easy so you can perform all these actions you can perform all these actions see how how this link happens so this is how you you need to link okay azure boards link and the project name now i am typing here azure boards link and the project url so this is my project url i am selecting this project coming here and typing it here enter see please pass the project url after link command okay say let's say uh, maybe when i type this here okay https dev dot azure dot com slash what it says rajesh organization sample project dot net core okay sorry this is another window okay rajesh organization sample project underscore dot net core see it is asking me to sign in okay it is asking me to sign in oh, okay 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 guys i i am sorry we are we are here to use azure boards but by mistake i gave azure pipelines so i am giving the same command again uh, please bear with me azure boards then link then https dev dot azure dot com slash rajesh organization slash sample project underscore dot net core yeah okay now now let's see what the response comes see has linked to this channel okay has linked so create work items by using this command or to monitor work items please add subscription to monitor work items please add subscriptions now what i will do i will show you i can create a work item from this team channel itself in the azure devops project let's see how this happens see here I have all these work items, right? I have all these work items and I have the team channel here. Now what I will do, Azure boards, okay, create, okay, create, wait a second. Uh, instead of this, I will write something. So what happens, so there is a guy, there is a guy, he, posted here I am facing issue with deployment in the project okay, he posted something like this now what you want to do you wanted to track this through a work item so if I select this option these all are here go to more actions see now I am seeing a create work item button here if I click on this create work item see I got a pop-up window so what is this guy saying this guy is saying he is facing with some some deployment so this will be issue next okay this will be issue next okay, the title user facing issue with deployment in prod let's say we will add something okay, see from where this description came this description frame from the message only whoever the user if he posts his query or his concern in the team's channel it will be fetched as a description now i am going to click on this create button now you see issue 1191 guys you might have observed i have i am i am working in teams only 
I am not went I'm, or I am not gone into the Azure boards. Now if I go back to Azure boards and if I refresh, see the last work item is 1190. If I refresh this, see now it is 1191. If I click on this, see user facing issue with deployment in prod. Here you can see created from Microsoft Teams. You can see right clearly created from Microsoft Teams. So that's how you create work items from DevOps, I mean from Microsoft Teams itself. Okay. Now I created a work item and this work item is going to be changed. This work item is going to be changed. Okay. Someone will add a comment here. Someone will add something or title or something. How can I push those kind of notifications? Okay. I created a work item and this work item is being updated or closed or, or some status is being pushed on the work item. How can I send this notification automatically to the team channel? For that, what I need to do? I need to come here. Okay, I need to come here. Create a subscription for that. Okay, create a subscription for that. Okay, before creating a subscription, let's see what are all the subscriptions I have. This is the command for that. I already told you guys, this page will help you to set up all your subscriptions and what are all things that you are doing. Now coming here, see, this has one subscription. What is that subscription? Whenever work item created, that will send a message here. Okay, now I will add a subscription. Now I will add a subscription. What is that subscription? If a work item is updated, okay. If a work item is updated, for suppose if a work item is updated, okay, next. Okay, next. So what is that work item type? Today I am going to create only for issue. If any issue updated, okay. And what is the field? Okay, what is the field? I don't want to select any specific field. Anything that is updated in issue, I want to post a message in Teams channel. Okay, links are added or removed. That is not required. Tags not required. Submit. Okay, I created a subscription. What is that subscription? If a work item is updated, send a notification. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So there are two subscriptions. Okay, close this. I created a subscription in Teams. Now I am going to DevOps page. Okay, I am going to DevOps page back to work items. Okay, I will modify some other work item. So here I have previously created some work item for checking this functionality only. So what is the title? Sample issue to check service hook behavior. Okay, sample issue to check service hook behavior. Now I will close here. So this behavior, okay, this behavior looks fine and it's working as expected why because we we did some work item created in the microsoft teams and that that came here right uh did i do something wrong yeah why why sometimes what happens your spelling mistakes are treated as seriously okay now what i'm doing closing okay i'm closing closed issue resolved because this behavior looks fine and it's working as expected save save so double one eight nine work item was closed by giving some comment okay the work is done here go back to work items just refresh this page now come here you see the activity count was increased the activity count was increased why let's verify okay you see here guys see Rajesh Kumar updated an issue sample issue to check service state closed isn't this interesting this is interesting right if you see here even the discussion came here this behavior looks fine and it's working as expected I did this modification in Azure DevOps project under the boards page but whatever I am doing there it's coming here above if you see above if you see I created a work item in the team channel and it went to Azure boards work items page. So this is an extraordinary service guys. So you might have heard very few no, I mean uh, very few are uh, very few times or very few members know what is the service hooks, how can you use the service hooks. Today I am showing you a normal simple functionality of service hook where you can use this service hooks or connect with both services like Azure DevOps and Azure Microsoft Teams. 
so if you wanted to post notifications to team channel from azure devops or you wanted to create a work item based on the discussion or based on the uh, issue that is reported in the team channel these things can be achieved by using these service hooks so if you want to know more about service hooks i request you to go through this different service hooks everything is documented okay if you want to know more about you can go to this link page whatever service that you want to use either datadog grafana hockey app azure storage anything guys it will help you a lot it will help you a lot hope this is very useful for you and i am happy that you are following and keep keep tune into my channel you will find more about azure devops thanks guys thank you very much